Here is my list on why false water cobras are the most amazing snakes in the world. For starters, let me tell you guys what a false water cobra is. This is a type of colubrid that is actually rear fang venomous. So that name is actually because of how they resemble. They kind of look like a real cobra. So when they're really spooked or freaked out, they'll take all this excess skin around her neck right there and she'll expand it like a hood, just like a real cobra. But unlike a real cobra, she can also extend that all the way down um, or down the first half of her body. So she absolutely looks massive when she does that. In reality, she doesn't even need to do all that. The snake is, she's about six and a half feet long right now. And this snake can get up to eight feet long. I cannot wait for her to be at that size. But honestly, I'll be a little intimidated when she's that big because they are very powerful snakes. I can just feel how strong she is in my hands right here. And if you look, she's about to break my hand there. Not really, but she is really strong. It's really hard to get her to stretch out for me because of the strength that these guys carry. These guys are active pursuit predators, just very powerful, fast snakes. And you can really feel that while you're handling them. But these guys, in my opinion, are one of the most beautiful snakes that you can find. One of my favorite things about false water cobras is their underside. You guys see all those spots? And it leads into that beautiful yellow chin right there. And then it goes to the showstopper. Do you guys see that face right there? She's got such a pretty face. They have that beautiful banding going through their eyes and then that fierce pitch black tongue. Let me see if I can show you guys right there. You guys see that? And then my favorite thing, it's kind of nerdy, but she's got the avatar arrow right there on the back of her head. I'm gonna try to show you, but again, it's hard to see because she's fighting me a little bit. Okay, there we go. You guys see that? I'll have to input a picture. Look at that. She's the avatar. These guys are big, powerful, and beautiful. And also they have the weaponry to match all of that power and beauty. Back of her mouth, she has these two little enlarged teeth. I guess not little, but they're enlarged teeth and they have grooves. So when she bites into her prey, those grooves will get poked into the skin and then the venom drains down those grooves. And that's where uh, the rest of her teeth really play a role because like almost all snakes, she has recurved teeth that really push that prey item back to those rear fangs so they can get actuated and put into the fight. Let's not forget about how hardy these guys are. This is a snake that can live for decades. So expect to have the snake for up to 20 years they can live. So this is like a lifelong partner you'll have. They're generalists. So it's not gonna be too much of a chore to have to feed them because they'll pretty much eat anything you put in front of them. So you can put mice, rats, all that usual stuff for them to feed on, but they'll also eat things like eggs, like a raw whole egg and a scrambled eggs and a hard boiled eggs, eggs anyway, sunny side up probably, I've never done that, um, as well as chicks and fish and frogs. And you can even take up slices of chicken and beef and the liver and all of that stuff. They will eat that. And that makes them very rare, unique snakes because a lot of times the snake will only eat food if it's in its whole form. Once it gets cut up, up, a snake usually loses interest in it. For example, the other night I was cooking a chicken dinner and I had some chicken scraps that I didn't really want to add to the dish and I threw them to her and she ate them. She was very grateful for those. So for all of that, these guys are super hardy, uh, super easy to feed, but um, I can't forget to touch on this. This is an important part. The more you feed an animal, the more you have to care for that animal, if you know what I mean. So these guys are going to the bathroom quite a bit. So as long as you have them in a decently sized enclosure, like I have back here, um, and you offer a good thick substrate and you can spot clean when they poop, um, it's really not too hard to care for them as long as you know, you're giving them a fresh bowl of water. A little side note is I will take her out about every three to four days after I feed her. So if I fed her on like Monday, I'll take her out on Thursday and let her slither around so that way that she's getting to get some natural sunlight and some exercise and that's kind of when she's ready to go to the bathroom. So then she goes outside, I don't have to clean it up and it's a win-win because she got to get some exercise, get out of the enclosure and I didn't have to clean up that enclosure as often as if I had just kept her in the enclosure. So that's why I definitely advocate for taking these guys out, letting them get some natural 
uh, sunlight and some exercise slithering through the grass. Not only are these snakes big, bad, and beautiful, but they're also extremely intelligent. This is one of the most intelligent snakes in the world. This snake displays its intelligence a lot, uh, mostly through curiosity. Uh, at least that's how I've witnessed it. So for example, if you see these blue lights back here, there's just some LED light strips that I recently added to her enclosure. And after a couple hours of them being in there for just a little bit, I found her going from one end to the other and checking out those lights, trying to figure out what they're all about. And um, it's just cool to see a snake showing curiosity after the personality like I was talking about. These guys are so much fun to feed because they are extremely aggressive feeders. When you throw something in there, it's lights out. Their personality does change a lot. So when they're little, like most snakes, they're more defensive because they're scared. They're freaked that something might try to eat them. Um, so they'll tend to be a little bit more bitey, nip you more here and there because they don't know what's happening. You're this big person reaching in, trying to pick them up. Also, a unique thing about false water cobras that I was just kind of realizing in the moment is that if you see that tail, it comes to a nice little point, but when they're babies, it comes to a much more acute point. And it's kind of like a needle at the end with the last scale, it's very sharp. And when they're babies and you pick them up, if they don't bite you, they will still a lot of times take that tail and push it into you. And it kind of feels, uh, it applies some discomfort. And what happens is you'll think the snake's biting you and that's what the snake is hoping for. So that ties back into the intelligence. It's trying to psych you out, make you think you're getting bit without getting bit. So you drop it and then the snake can make a good getaway. So when they're adults, they're really chill. They're just uh, really only going to bite you if you catch them in feed mode. Oh, she's in feed mode still. But like I was saying a second ago, they're very smart. They know the difference between being fed and being handled. They are very strong willed. If she wants to go left and I want her to go right, she's not going right. She will go left because they are strong willed snakes. Whatever she wants uh, is what she gets. It's her way or the highway, literally with uh, these guys. So um, they're very strong willed. They're fun feeders. They're absolutely maniacs when you throw food in there. They will gobble up pretty much anything you feed them. Make sure you really take these snakes outside because they're super active. They're fast, they're powerful, they're great swimmers. I go swimming with her quite a bit and that's one of our favorite activities to do together. Uh, as well as just putting her in the grass, something simple like that, letting her slither around and use all those muscles. And not only can she uh, slither through grass very efficiently and swim very well, but she's a very proficient climber. Olympians, they're very athletic snakes and they're a lot of fun because they're just, they're active, they're interactive. Right now she's chilling, applying some pressure to me, letting me know who's boss, but uh, they're active. So a second ago, she was just all over me moving around. But right now, she's chilling. Just to recap, for all the reasons we were talking about, their appearance, their hardiness, their intelligence, these are some of the most amazing snakes in the world. Personally, they're my favorite snake in the world, and uh, I just can't get enough of them. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If this is something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button.